Hi friends, thank you so much for being here. I asked you guys on my Instagram to pick my makeup. So let's go ahead and just jump right in and see what we can create together, putting our minds together, what kind of look we can come up with. So if you want to see what makeup y'all picked and how it turns out then let's I go. always do my eyes first but before we hop into that I'm gonna go ahead and put my face primer on so for face primers if it was between elf power grip Danessa Myers yummy skin glow serum and the Aryan beauty blurring primer I thought Danessa Myers was gonna win only because I haven't really talked about that one as much but trusty dusty elf power grip plus four percent niacinamide one I'm just taking one pump, really working it in between my fingers. First, I'm gonna pat in the center of my face because that's where I need that longevity and that stickiness. For eyeshadow palette, it was between the Huda Beauty Naughty Nude, Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes, or Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. I figured either Makeup by Mario or Natasha Denona would win, and Makeup by Mario won. Totally understandable because I feel like this was the palette of 2023. Considering the products that we're going in with for the cheeks, I actually want to do an all matte look with this palette, which if you really want to see these shimmers in action, I do have videos on my channel already using this palette, swatching the shimmers, using the shimmers, so I will link those here or in the description box down below. First, I'm going to go into this light brown. I'm going to start in the outer V, get that a little bit into the crease. I really want like a blown out look, so I'm going to be doing a lot of these kind of motions, flicking the shadow outwards. Next, I'm going to go into this pinky mat, do the exact same motion. I'm going to bring this onto the lid and the crease as well as taking it out towards the temple. Then I'm going into this brown mat. And I'm using the same brush for everything. This is a Real Techniques number 203, really good drugstore fluffy blending brush. I'm gonna concentrate this darker brown closer to the lash line and closer towards the bottom, this smoked out blending. Switching to a different fluffy brush. This one is the Fluffy Eye Blender from e.l.f. Gonna use the lightest matte in the palette to blend the top part of this. I'm also gonna pack that color on the inner part of my lid and swoop it up just in this inside nook. This is all I'm doing for the eyes, just something super snatched and lifted. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it was definitely like something with my skin texture because this side looks just way better than this side. I just think like the eyeshadow was catching or not being able to stick to this one spot so it makes it look patchy but it's not the eyeshadow's fault moving on to complexion so for foundation i gave you guys the option of choosing between the rem beauty foundation the about face foundation or the new catrice nude drop tinted serum and i'm honestly surprised that rem beauty won i really thought it was going to be about face or catrice just because those are the newer foundations that have been really popping off but i love this foundation this was my favorite foundation of last year but i will say about face has officially replaced this foundation as my favorite foundation ever I was kind of hoping y'all would choose the about face, but I still love and adore this one. I only take about a half pump onto my palm. You guys know the drill, but if you're new here, I always, always spread out my foundation first with a finger. Y'all can see how much use I've gotten out of this foundation. It looks like I've used half of this already. This isn't my project pan, so that's really exciting to see. And I use the shade Medium 7N. This is a really perfect shade match for me. Basically all year round, I do also use Medium 9N when I get tanned in the summer. I'm gonna use the corner of my sponge to really sharpen that line.
For concealer, we had two options between the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Concealer or the Physician's Formula Butter Go Concealer. I really thought House Labs was going to win just because that one is a more popular product, but Physician's Formula won. This is one of my favorite concealers of all time, also in my project pan, and I will let this one sit for at least a minute because it is so watery and if I go ahead and blend this out right now it's not going to maintain a lot of coverage. The most you'll get is medium. This is like a light to medium glowy concealer so I basically let this dry down and then blend it out. This concealer is just so good. If you're looking for a glowy, hydrating, medium coverage concealer at the drugstore, like that is the one. Now I'm going to set my face with some powder and we had two options, my one size translucent setting powder or the translucent powder that comes in this pure face palette. You guys chose one size. I've trained you so well. And I'm trying powder puffs again, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to make this work for me. I explained in a recent video why this doesn't really work for me or I've actually had difficulty using a powder puff, which seems so ironic because this is like the makeup tool right now. Everyone's using a powder puff and everyone looks freaking flawless when they use a powder puff, except for me apparently. But I, I'm trying new things. I'm trying to figure out how to make this work for my dry skin. Actually, around the mouth, that, that looks pretty freaking good. I think the key for me with the powder puff is I just have to use like a whiff of powder, like not even barely any powder, just for it to not make my under eyes look super dry and crepey. For bronzer, we had three options. It was between the Rem Beauty Powder Bronzer, the Makeup by Mario Self Sculpt Skin Enhancer, or the powder from the Pure Face Palette. You guys chose the Makeup by Mario, which I have hit pan on. Super, super happy I've hit pan on this because this is also in my project pan, so I'm feeling really confident about finishing this one. It definitely does fade, um, but it's easy just to add like a powder bronzer or set with a translucent setting powder on top to make it last longer. Now for highlighter, it was between the Rare Beauty highlighter, the Aryan Beauty highlighter, or the highlighter from the Pure Face Palette. Y'all really don't like this palette. Y'all really did not want to see this palette. Like, I put this in so many categories because I was trying to bait you guys and be like, pick this one, pick this one. Look, shiny, shiny pretty object. Um, and it literally didn't win any category. I'm like, y'all don't want to see this? It's beautiful. I just got it and I really want to use it. So that's why I kept putting it in the cheat categories like bronzer, highlight, blush. It's got everything. It's even got a powder. Even if you guys don't want to see it, I want to freaking use this and know the tea with Pure. I've never tried anything from Pure. This is my first product and I got this off a recommendation from Emily Noel. She is an OG pioneer of beauty content on YouTube. So shout out to her. And actually, while you're watching this, I'm currently on vacation. So I am pre-filming. The past couple of videos you've seen have been pre-filmed and I am planning to take this with me when I travel. That way I don't have to pack all of these separate products. I just have this in this slim, cute little compact. But anyways, the highlighter that one is the Rare Beauty Highlighter. Also, the combination of that Makeup by Mario bronzer with this highlight just makes you look so snatched. Y'all ate that. Does anyone still highlight their brow bone? I feel like that's a thing that people don't really do anymore, but I do. I do it every single time. And also, it's actually imperative for me to highlight my nose right 
in between my eyes, right in the middle, right here, I do it no matter if I'm wearing like the most natural makeup look, it's just something that I do. Last category for cheeks is blush, and this one really surprised me. So out of the three options, we had the Too Faced Cloud Crush Blurring brushes. Blushes. Next, we had a glowy highlighter blush duo from e.l.f. and then the blush from the Pure Palette that apparently y'all freaking hate and don't want to see. And to my surprise, y'all wanted to see this e.l.f. duo. This is not a new product. This has been around almost since the beginning of e.l.f., but I've never tried these before. This is in the shade Guava. So with my blush brush, I am going to dab into this like more matte looking powder and just like a little bit into the highlight. Can y'all see that? So that is the matte blush and then there's that highlighter. It's, it's taken like three layers for us to get here and it's still like, you know, she's cute. Um, but I definitely think as far as e.l.f. go, their liquid blushes and also their primer infused blushes are way better than this. Off of camera, I went ahead and applied the Surf Proof Setting Spray and went ahead and did my brows because I used like the same three products. So the NYX Lift and Snatch in the shade Espresso along with the Kosas Clear Airbrow. Now for mascara, it was between the Flower Beauty Warrior Princess Mascara or the IT Cosmetics Lash Blowout. And I figured that <laughs> Flower Beauty would win, probably because of the packaging. I have been testing this mascara off a of camera. This is what the wand looks like. It's a large, kind of hourglass, bristly wand. So this is what one coat looks like. with one coat without any mascara. And here is after two coats. Mascara is on. Off of camera, I did put a nude eyeliner from Essence in my waterline. Not going to put uh, the mascara on the lower lashes because I haven't tested this out on the lower lashes. And I always struggle with most mascaras smudging. So that will be for another day. I really don't want to mess up this makeup because I'm really liking how it's looking so far. And finally, on to lips. So for lip liner, it was between the Moira lip liners or the NYX Line Loud lip liners. You guys chose NYX, great choice. Very, very long lasting and I have two shades. So the two shades right here, the top one is Global Citizen and this one is Sassy. And I'll go ahead and go over the lipstick choice. So it was between three options, the e.l.f. O-Face lipsticks or the Rem Beauty Matte lipsticks or the Moira Cosmetics Signature Lipsticks. You guys chose the e.l.f. O-Face Satin Lipsticks. I recently got these. So this one right here is No Doubt. And then this darker nude is called Drive. I'm thinking going in with Sassy and pairing it with Drive because they're very similar in tone. This is what that sassy lip liner looks just by itself. That's a really good shade match. I like the same color. Cute. You guys ate that lip combination. Okay, and this is the final makeup look. What we were able to create together. Favorite things about this look. I really like the cheek products very nice and glowy and this lip combination is a really nice like rosy brown darker nude it goes with the eyeshadow too honestly the only thing i was underwhelmed by it still worked out but this elf blush is just like mid it still works 
um, but it's just not as refined and not as pigmented as I would like. But other than that, everything else slayed. You guys ate that. I really, really like how this look came out. So if you want more Get Ready With Me's, more tutorials, and other makeup teams, then like, comment, subscribe. I am sending you guys so, so much love and light. And I will see you in the next one.